San Diego is an attractive California city with an ideal climate and beautiful beaches. Near the heart of the city is the community of City Heights, composed of 16 different neighborhoods. In the 1960s and 70s, older inner city neighborhoods around the country suffered from white flight. Many middle-class white homeowners fled to the suburbs, taking advantage of loans often unavailable to families of color. The community they left behind became a magnet for immigrants, who now make up one in four Californians. Immigrants and refugees were attracted by cheaper rents found in decaying inner city neighborhoods. While the suburbs improved, inner city communities like City Heights suffered. By the late 1980s, City Heights had one of San Diego's top crime rates, and the physical infrastructure of the community was deteriorating. I'm not sure whether it was a, a vision that was all laid out. It evolved. So we had the holistic approach. We knew we had to start with, with capital improvements to demonstrate to the people in the city that, that it wasn't just talk. Saul Price and William Jones had already formed a partnership between Price's nonprofit private foundation and Jones' for-profit private real estate company. Now, with the city joining them, they would form a public-private partnership with the potential of bringing millions of dollars of investment into City Heights. You know, if we consider Saul Price and this public and, and private partnership, one of the reasons it's occurring is this decrease in funding for urban areas because of Proposition 13, because of the state and federal policies that have shifted funds to suburban areas. Well, from my perspective, it was a new way to really look at a neighborhood and a community. All too often what's happened historically in the city, and it happens in cities across the country, is the planning for a community is left to city planners. And city planners sit down with community planning groups and they develop these rather abstract and esoteric plans for how land use ought to be developed. And what they don't take into consideration when they develop those land use plans is the human impact that those plans can have on a community. 